Well, Armis Brooks was, was a very important, if you will, turning point in my career. Um, I was doing, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I was doing a show, uh, Oogie Pringle, on a date with Judy. And on the show was a young lady named Sandra Gould, who played a character. Her husband was a gentleman named Larry Burns, who was a producer of a new show that was going to be done called Armis Brooks with Eve Arden. And she recommended me to Larry. She said, this is, we got to have him do it. And because he'd be great and blah, blah, blah. And she sold, she was my agent on the job, as a matter of fact. And uh, I went over and, and signed to do the show. And it was probably one of the better experiences of my life. First of all, working with Eve Arden uh, taught me so much. Uh, again, looking back and reflecting on all those people from whom I learned as a kid. Um, Eve was a consummate performer and, and a, just such a professional. And of course, to work with Gail Gordon, who I think probably has as good a comedy timing as anybody in the history of our business. And to be able to work with him every week for six years as I did, uh, well, it ended up longer than I actually, because uh, the television show came along. And at that time, I had reached the point where I thought I should probably go to the big voice down in the sky. And I was, my voice was about to give out. I was getting a hernia from playing Walter Denton. And they wanted me to do the television show. And I said, guys, I can't. You know, I'm, I'm now, I'm, I'm 72 years old. It's time to quit this show. You know, I, I can't keep playing this character forever. And they said, well, Eve was insistent. She wanted all of us that had done the radio show uh, Gloria McMillan and Gail Gordon and all of us to, to go on and do the television series because that was the beginning of radio going into television. Those were the early days of that happening. I had done a show, uh, Favorite Husband, with Lucille Ball and Richard Denning on radio. It suddenly had been directed by Bob Sweeney, uh, who was, you know, as, as good an actor as he was a director. And uh, it was a show that they liked particularly. So when the show became I Love Lucy, when, when the favorite husband became I Love Lucy, Jess Oppenheimer, who was the producer and creator, uh, Madeline Pugh and, and uh, Bob Carroll, who were the writers, uh, they went over with the show. And this was a particular show, Arthur the Dance Student. And it was a, a story of a young guy who falls in, infatuated by Lucy, uh, challenges uh, um, Ricky practically to a duel for her affection. And uh, so at just that time, when I had turned down the Armis Brooks, I went over and played this character, which was very Walter Denton-like. He was a silly kid with a squeaky voice. And I did it. It was and television, right? I did the, it, now, it, now Favorite Husband had become I Love Lucy. This was one of the very first I Love Lucy's film. And uh, I played Arthur. When the studio saw that, when CBS saw that, and CBS was also doing Armis Brooks, they said, look, I mean, you can obviously play that character. You can obviously play this goofy young kid. Just do it for a year. And I said, well, they said, just a year. And I said, okay, I'll do it for a year. So I did it for a year, and then I did it for a second year, and then I did it for a third year. And finally, they sent me to the home. I said, folks, this is it. I can't do it anymore. And I was very reluctant to leave because I loved the show. I loved the people. We, we, had, we had a very strong family on, on the Armis Brooks show. And I hated to leave it. I really did because we had such a great time. Uh, Jeff Chandler had done the radio show, Ira Grossell. Uh, and when we started the show, he became a huge movie star uh, when we were on radio. Uh, he did um, play the part of Cochise in a, in, a, in a very important 20th Century Fox film became a movie star. Now, Jeff Chandler still had two years to run on his radio contract of five years. And he, for the same love of that cast that I had, that I had uh, came back and played the remaining two years on his original contract because he wanted to be with all of us so much. And uh, it was, it was, it was, that was that kind of a group. I mean, we really were, were really bonded as a family.